Many of you guys have heard of the, the virus that's been going around, the coronavirus. And uh, there was actually the statistics, there's been about plus minus 100,000 uh, cases worldwide. There's been about 3,500 deaths worldwide. And in just America, there's been about 19 deaths. That's been happening because of this virus. And in Washington alone, about 16 of them. And I want us to begin to pray against the spread of this virus. I want us, not just the spread of this virus, but the fear that's been in our social media. The fear in the news. The Bible, the Bible says he hasn't given us a spirit of fear but of power of love and a sound mind amen that's the kind of mindset that we need to have that's the kind of spirit that that we need to have and when we come against it church when when jesus was on the uh, on the ship and and everyone was scared of the waves jesus came out and told the waves to stop and the people disciples were saying who is this man that even the wind and the waves obey him when we come against this virus with the name jesus Jesus, it has to stop spreading. It has to stop moving. It has to stop because the name Jesus is more powerful than the name coronavirus. The name Jesus, it has oaths more powerful in Jesus' mighty name. So I want us to begin to pray right now against the, the fear of this virus and against the spread of it in the mighty name of Jesus. So if I ask if we could just raise our hands and as we begin to come here in the middle, let's begin to raise our hands. Let's begin to come against it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. In your name we shall take victory. That whatever we shall face, that nothing shall scare us, Lord. That the spirit that you've given us, Lord, is a spirit of power and love in the spirit and the sound mind, Lord. Not a spirit of fear. And that anything we shall raise and ask in your name, it shall take place. That you will take the glory. You will take the honor. You will take the victory. That we shall give you praise. And the walls of Jericho shall come down, Lord. And everything that we shall ask in your name, it shall be taken place, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you will give us that peace. You will give us that prosperity. You will give us that that sound mind and happiness, Lord, throughout the midst of all this pain and all this sickness, Lord, and in Jesus' name, Lord, in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I come against every spirit of fear, God, in the social media. I command it to be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. When we come against it in the name of Jesus, every fear has to begin to end. When we come in the name of Jesus, every spread of the virus has to stop in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name, I break its grip. I break its spread in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command it to be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your power begin to break, God. Every virus, God, begin to break every spread of it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, I want us to pray one last prayer. I want us to pray for those that have been affected with it already. You see the, the amount of cases that have already been uh, confirmed in the amount of uh, deaths that we have. I want us to begin to pray that, that there would be a supernatural healing power that God just supernaturally begins to heal those people that whatever cure, however that the cure begins to spread uh, the cure begins to uh, get faster and come out but but we're going to believe in, in, a, in a better cure. That's a, that's a Jesus power. Amen. That's a healing power of, of God and I want us to begin to pray that the supernatural healing power will begin to go to every person and that has it amen and then we'll begin to see God's healing power just begin to manifest in those lives so let's begin to pray let's begin to ask God that his power begin to go and manifest in those people's bodies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let's begin to open up our lips church and let's pray against it in Jesus name we thank you Lord God there is no name above the name of Jesus thank you God that you are still on the throne God you are still a miracle working God Lord we thank you there is no name above the name of Jesus we declare he who dwells in the the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of my God, He is my refuge, my strength, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver from every snare of the fowler, every noise of pestilence. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee, God. We declare healing, God, for those who need it, Lord, and for those who are affected by this virus, God. We thank you, Lord, that your will is on earth as it is in heaven, and there is no sickness in heaven, God. So we break in the mighty name of Jesus. We break coronavirus in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you that your name is above every name. You are still on the throne, God. You deserve all the victory.
victory. God, we thank you, Lord, that you are bringing a wake-up call to America right now, God. We pray you would wake them up right now, God, and we pray you would declare, we declare healing, God, not just in their bodies, Jesus, but we declare it in their souls as well, God. Lord, I pray they would come to know you, Lord. There would be a mighty revival here in America, God. We pray this in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. And the church shouted, amen and amen.